Today we're going to look at the H&R Sportsman, which is the model 999. It's a nine-shot 22 double action revolver. These were made from 1953 to 1986. One of the things that's really unique about this pistol in particular is that it is a top break, but still with a modern design. Now, H&R made some really great little pistols. Uh, when these were first uh, introduced, they were on the lower end as far as price. Their finish wasn't quite what a Colt or a Ruger was, but still a very nice, high-quality little pistol. In fact, these are still sought after because of the all-steel frame. Most of your inexpensive 22 single-action, double-action pistols have an aluminum alloy frame with a steel barrel and cylinder, but these are all steel very collectible especially in the pre-war which this one is I believe this one was made around the 1940s now I've done a number of reviews on the H&R so I'm not going to go into all the history and all the detail of things that I usually do what's really funny is I personally don't own an H&R pistol but I have a lot of friends that do there are a lot of them out there and that's the reason for the video if you find a nice little H&R pistol uh, for a reasonable price you're gonna find that it's good quality so, uh, and there are parts, etc., out there. Like I said, these were made up until 1986. Now, this one is, again, one of the older versions. You know, there is a list of the way you can check with your serial numbers. But one of the things you can definitely tell right away is with the grip. This grip is a one-piece grip. And after 1953, they started making a two-piece grip. So if you have a one-piece grip, you're automatically in the pre-1952 range. Another way to tell with a lot of these pistols is on the hammer. And if you'll look, it has a firing pin attached to the hammer. Now, while that's, well, that was common earlier, one of the problems with that is, is if the hammer is inadvertently bumped or you drop the gun, it can accidental, there can be an accidental discharge. So you really want to carry this gun without a bullet in the chamber where the hammer is. Because as you can see, now one of the unique features of the H&R with a lot of them is this the way the trigger guard does with this little curly Q right here. H&R uh, has a certain look to it, but this is a very well finished pistol. It's about 80%. There's some wear around here on the barrel, but the bluing around this area right here is really nice. And you can tell that this was had a very nice high quality finish on it. Still an excellent shooter. The smoothness, the well, it's well finished. Now the sights themselves are adjustable. Right here you have a very nice sight picture. And uh, this is of course uh, for elevation and windage. The front sight of course is fixed. But it does have a 6 inch barrel. So accuracy is really decent with these little pistols. Now one of the very unique features of this pistol, and one that makes it attractive to a lot of people, is the old style top break. And of course you just lift up on the back slide, it's, there's a spring tension right there as you can see, and then as you lift it up, this will eject, the shells will immediately eject out, and you can load it. And one of the things about the top break, and this is something that I didn't even realize while I was shooting, is that when you lift this up, it comes way out. And it's very difficult to load that way, but if you go to full extension, it pops back down, and then for easy loading. The buddy of mine who owns this gun, uh, we did some research on it, and on Gun Broker, Gun List, these are going for around the $250 to $300 range, which actually surprised me somewhat. Um, I know a lot of H&Rs go around the, the $150, $175 range, but the Sportsman 999 with this top break, uh, is about the 250 range and if you get one that's in really excellent condition it can go on up quite past that number there's a lot of information online about H&R revolvers um, if you want to look it up you can google H&R revolver whatever model you have and there is just a ton of information uh, most of the ways to find out the manufacturing date and things like that so you know if you have one of these or you're looking at one that's a very easy way to find out information thanks for watching please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival 
God bless America. Long live the Republic. Winning hearts and minds, two to the heart, one to the mind.